Okay guys, exciting day today. An exciting day tomorrow too because we're gonna be going to New Jersey. This, my friends, is the Nanorobot D4 Plus 2.0. It is an amazing, beautiful looking scooter. And today I'm gonna be showing y'all, digesting, um, breaking it down and um, showing y'all um, the basics and what this scooter has to offer. Now, this is the box it came in and it's not very good for somebody who lives on the third story of a New York City apartment like myself. But still, nevertheless, we're still gonna carry it up and down the stairs. Like this thing, this is, wait, no, this is my scooter. No, my new scooter. This, it's out of commission. We're selling it to one of my dad's work friends. Um, this right here is my um, scooter, new scooter. And um, this was actually my dad's old scooter, which he used for commuting. And y'all check this out. Look how many miles it has. 497 miles on it. It has a ton of miles. A ton, a ton, a ton of miles. Actually, um, since it has this many miles, I'm gonna go plug it in after this video. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the Man Robot D4 Plus 2.0. And I'm gonna be showing it to all of you guys. So I'm gonna put the kickstand up first. So, first off, it has a key. Now, as you can see by the key holder, there are two keys that come with it. The second key is right here. It also comes with this multi-tool, which is actually pretty good and it was pretty useful for us when we were, built to, when we were um, doing a bunch of tweaks to it. Um, it has, it doesn't come with any of this stuff like this, this, and this. This does not come with the Nanorobot D4. This is completely just stuff that we've bought, and we have a helmet coming later today. Um, it also comes with brake lights. This isn't the brake light. This is a headlight that I have that we put on. This right here, this little light right here, this is the brake light. It also has this suspension right here. I love the look of this rear fender. I love it, I love it, I love it. It looks so sick. As well as the front suspension right here. Those are very strong um, springs. And the fronts, um, what's it called? The front headlight, you know? Yeah, so trying to not hit my head on the handlebars was I get up. Um, that's peeling. Um, all right, so let's grab the key. This is the key. And to turn it on, you put the key right in the ignition like this. And then you turn it. Actually, I'm gonna do that again so you can see everything light up. There you go, so the key is on, so you can honk the horn, which I'm not going to do. There's also a headlight, um, wait, I need to actually turn this on. So, this is the push to start button. Once you've done that, this is the HUD. And, um, as you can see, you have the gears, you have the miles, actually. I had no idea that they set up the miles. Also, when you pull the brakes, these are electric, by the way, you have, um the brake indicator and this is the wattage indicator you have the light right there pretty nice pretty nice um you also have this light which i had put on all right yeah is that off yeah, it's off. Okay. Is it? Yeah, it is. Sorry. Sorry. There's still a number up, so... Alright. Jesus Christ, I'm horrible at this. Also, there is this button right here. This is the single dual motor. You can press it again for single motor. There is also the eco, and then there's a turbo. So, turbo means you're going insanely fast. And eco means you're going a maximum speed of 10 miles per hour. So I'm inside, but I'll pull the throttle. 
It rips, it, it rips. It definitely rips. It's pretty scary. Um, yeah, it has a very loud horn, which I'm not going to honk for the sake of mine and your ears, as well as my neighbor's ears. Although I don't really care too much about my neighbors. Um, it has a mirror, which did not come with the narrow robot D-Force. Fun fact, this is actually my real life face. I am an iPhone. Um, YouTube's probably going to disable the comments part. Anyway. Um, these are the tires. Very thick. Girthy. Oh my god, I'm about to sell my scooter. Girthy off-roading tires. Also, another thing is, I'm going to shut off the um, scooter real quick. Wait, yeah. Scooter's off. Alrighty. You can also lower the handlebars. You can lower them down all the way up to here. That's where the stem can go. Because you can mount a seat, which we don't have, but we're definitely planning on getting. And, um... Yeah, the top speed is 40 miles per hour, and expect tomorrow there will be a riding video of me riding, hopefully, the Nan Robot D4. And you can, uh, I don't know if you put, um, I might put the, um, phone in the phone holder right here, and film, um, uh, in a 120 FOV. Or 0.5 times vision on my phone because when I put it in like this, you cannot see too far ahead. And it's pointing mostly at the ground, so I have to zoom all the way out like this. Mega field of view. So I can see everything. But anyway, that is the Nan Robot D4. Um very nice commuter scooter. And, um, yeah, it's um, a pretty nice scooter, so, um, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.